I'm Judy Green. I'm the president of the Family Firm Institute. And as you may know, we are a professional association, 26 years old, um, founded in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, originally, and now with 1,800 members in 88 countries around the world. The mission statement of FFI says our goal is to educate, connect, inspire. Those are our three um, tagline words. Um, on the education front, which has always been core to FFI, we provide conferences such as the one that you're attending right now. We have educational programs called the Global Education Network. We give two certificates, one in family business advising, one in family wealth advising, and then two advanced certificates in each of those categories. And then uh, we have a status called the fellow status for people who have been in the field for 10 years or more. Uh, another part is to do research, which we've done primarily through Family Business Review, now also 25 or 26 years old the oldest and the leading journal in the field. Uh, we also have an online journal called The Practitioner. And then inspire and connect the other two parts of our messages I think are really done. We have virtual study groups. Uh, we have uh, study groups that meet in person. We have some chapters. And of course we have the conference where four or five hundred people will come together once a year. Well, the thing we're really um, interested in in FFI is how to marry research and practice so that behind the things we teach and behind the things the advisors do, there's a strong um, research base. So um, anyone who's been in the field for a while knows there's a lot of research on the family businesses themselves. What they do, what they think, their succession plans, do they have them, don't they have them? But there's very little research on what the practitioner does. So in September, the first issue of FBR ever devoted to investigating what practitioners actually do came out and it has five um, very seminal articles that we hope will spur a whole new field of investigation. If you think of a medical model, it would be as though you only researched um, the patient or the disease, not to say that family business is like a disease, but the, the thing you're trying to work with and you never researched what the doctor does and that's what's happened in the field. All this research on the family business, almost no research on the practitioners. So implication of that is, for instance, I know in Spain protocols are a very big thing. Well, is there any research that shows they actually do any good? And so that, I think, is the, the most important thing. 25 years into the field, what should the practitioners be doing and how can they learn better about their impact? It's very tricky. I think we've put some energy into it. We've tried to we had some courses in Spanish for a while. We thought maybe um, we weren't making, penetrating that market and getting our word out enough because there wasn't, it was not enough in Spanish. But we really didn't get that much um, reaction even when we taught the courses either in person or online in Spanish. So we think maybe language isn't the issue. Um, some of it is that the field itself may not be as well known. You have to have more awareness about family business as a thing before you can actually talk about consulting. And I also think that the FFI niche in the market is interdisciplinary work. You know, the lawyers, the accountants, the financial people, the family therapists, all have a part in the advising. And that is, I think, a uniquely American point of view on how to, how to um, approach a problem. And a little more common in Europe, so we've got much more representation in Spain than we do in Latin America, which is kind of funny because Latin America is you know, incredibly more people and, and larger. So I think that might be part of it, that approach of you don't just have to be a good lawyer, you have to understand why the family might have trouble making a decision or whatever, that, that people aren't so comfortable with that approach. People are a little bit more veiled professionally here. You know, Americans are famous for talking too much, <laughs> sharing too much, and telling too much. But that is part of the approach for people to become really clear about what they're doing and why. And I think that culturally that might not be quite as common. That's a huge generalization, but it's my take on it. Well, the easiest way to get in touch, of course, is through the website, which is ffi.org. So that would be one way. You can always contact us personally. Um, one can become a member, one can participate in the certificate program. The courses are online now. Um, five of them are totally online and we have people from all over the world in them, which makes them very, very interesting. Mm -hmm.